Now joined by Linda from Harvest Gold Galleries. Linda, thank you for joining us this oh, morning. Oh, thank you for having me. I mean, you've got all kinds of great goodies every time that you come in, but you've got some interesting stuff to bring in today. Oh, yeah. Well, I brought things from our gallery, Harvest Gold Gallery, which is in Lovell, Maine, Center Lovell. It's right overlooking Keezer Lake and the right White Mountains. It's about a half an hour drive from here. And we are open every day. We feature a collection of over 200 American artists, mm -hmm. all different types of artwork, as well as the jewelry that Bill, my husband, and I make. We've been jewelers since 1985, and we love collecting the main mm -hmm. gems, main tourmaline, which I brought a few pieces of the main tourmaline here just to uh, just to let you see a few sweet pieces plus a few diamonds. <laughs> we could always like to have a few diamonds on the show, but I mean, so one of the pieces I really want to highlight because I think it's super cool is you brought in these bracelets that you made this week. Yep. So, uh, so let's take a look at those oh, because yeah. you said that you made these this week and then you made these rings yesterday too, right? Yeah. I'm, yeah. It was a bit, you know, when it's cold and you can't go outside. Nothing else to Might do. Might as well, well make, make some jewelry. great jewelry. There you go. <laughs> so tell us more about these bracelets here. Yeah, this is a really fun project. <clears throat> They're all hand forged. They start out little square wire. Yeah. And then by hammering them, we get them in this cool shape. And they're all unique, correct? Yes, yes. And they're all different sizes, so whatever size you wear, we've got it. And these are great <laughs> to like stack too, so you yeah. can buy a couple of them or keep adding on to them Add as you on go. On every anniversary, a birthday. Yeah. My favorite one was when all the grandchildren got together and they there were eight of them. Yeah. And they all bought their grandmother a bracelet. And so oh, she had the cool. whole stack, and we engraved the grandchild's name in each one. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Isn't that's it very fun? cool, very thoughtful. I love that. Oh, I'm also a big fan of monogramming, so yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, we do a lot of that. So, so you also brought up oh, so some of these rings over here. What do we have down there? Uh, we have an amethyst from Maine right here, and then we have this gorgeous little green stone that's a Maine tourmaline. Mm -hmm. And a few diamonds set in rose gold because we go. love rose gold and diamonds. There we go. <laughs> and then this was a really neat piece that I made this week with the twin pines, yeah. with the moon and star. It's very, very cool. romantic, you know, for Valentine's Day. Exactly. So if, if, if you messed up and you forgot a gift on Friday, it's not too late is what you're saying. Well, it's never too late it's for jewelry. It's not too late for you. It's not too late for you to <laughs> sell them some jewelry. Whether they'll accept it or not, that's a different story. Well, right now, jewelry right? is, it's, yeah, jewelry's a good thing. It's People a good love thing. jewelry. Yeah. You can make up for a lot of mistakes. Uh, so what do we have over here? You've also got some great necklaces and some bracelets too. Yep. Oh, I love to bring my husband makes these gorgeous bracelets that are super bendy and flexible. I'll show you mine and it's just super, super flexy. And that's a, so that's a gold bracelet, 14 correct? karat gold. Had it on 25 years. Do I want to say how old I am now? <laughs> no, but, but I love when you tell the story because it looks as brand new as the other pieces that you bring yeah, in. Yeah, it's and it amazing. And people think that because it's flexible that it's going to break or that it's going to bend or something, and it doesn't. No, it, it, actually it's super strong because we bring out the natural tensile strength mm -hmm. of the gold by hammering and work hardening it. And so you can wear it every day for your whole life and then pass it on and someone else can wear it they don't wear out. Yeah. So Very it's cool. it's it's really neat and we also you can use your own old gold. I, I upcycling. I yeah. love that you guys yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. So you can take your old family you know treasures and we can melt them down, make you a bracelet or a ring whatever and then you can think about that person all the time. Definitely. While you're wearing your gorgeous new bracelet. <laughs> There you go. Very, very cool. Now, you also brought in some fun stuff down here at the end oh, of the table. Oh, yeah. We like to uh, think of the men and the, in our store as well. So we have uh, this very fun tool that you can carry in your wallet. It's called the Open Beer. It's thin, and it has a shape that looks like a bear with antlers, but it's very handy for opening bottles. Very cool. And this fits in a, like a credit card slot in a wallet, yeah. correct? Yeah. Goes and it right goes in. through security for the airplanes. Everything takes barely any space. Very cool. Very it's cool. super cute. Open huh? beer. Open beer. I like that. <laughs> a little bear on it. Open beer. And then we also brought these um, wallets. These are made in Maine. They're for men in the front pocket, so you don't oh, get a backache. Yeah, yeah. yeah, aren't they cool? Front oh, pocket. all of a I sudden. I would have never even thought of. And this is yep. made from moose, correct? Yep. They come in either moose, bison, or cow. 
and they come in different cool. colors. They're made by a um, new company, a startup in Maine. So Very cool. we love supporting our local craftsmen, artists, and also my painting. Yes, I don't know that's if I'm in the way painting. of the painting. <laughs> so who, uh, what's uh, this? Is actually have this you is, brought this on before? Yes, it's okay. my favorite painting in the store. So I just carry it around with me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so uh, who's the artist for this? This is Diane Scott, okay. and I like to think of this as me, like just taking the last run. You know, every time, gotta yeah. go for the last run. <laughs> there you go. It's super, super. Pretty. Where's Diane from? Diane's right from Chatham, New Hampshire. It's okay. right on the main border. Very cool. So, very, very yeah, cool. we love to feature all our local artists. Like, we have our beautiful owl here. Yes, our, our artist in residence here at <laughs> yes. Sunday River TV. We have this amazing owl. And um, so this is actually, what's his name? His name is uh, William? William Janelle. William Janelle. And he's from Freiburg as Freiburg. well. Freiburg, yeah. See, I'm getting it. You there you are. go. are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very cool. So you've got a ton of unique pieces, um, the whole scope. And... Um, so for people looking for more information, we'll post um, Harvest Gold Galleries yeah. information on our website. And be sure to check you guys out. You're open seven days a week. Open seven today. Seven days a week. Yeah, we're open today. So stop on down after you do your runs this morning. And Perfect. Yeah, anytime during vacation week, we'll be open every day. So it's a nice way to get some color. You know, when you see the white snow, then you come inside and we have all the beautiful paintings. Mm -hmm. and. Very, very cool. It's a large gallery, too. Seven rooms, so. And was it, was it Downey's Magazine or Yankee Magazine that gave you? Actually, both. But both. Yankee Magazine called us the best gallery in New England. Very cool. So. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just a 25, 30-minute drive from here, and it's on Route 5, so it's on the right way. Right on the road. Yep, Can't right miss on, it. Can't miss it. All right. Thank you for tuning in, guys. We're going to be right back after this quick commercial break. Thanks, Established Linda. by artisans Linda Rasco and Bill Rudd, Harvest Gold Gallery has been a hidden gem in Lovell, Maine since 1996. Come and experience firsthand the vibrance of their collection of American-made crafts and wares that span seven showrooms. Whether you're shopping for the avid art collector or for a curious child, you can find something for everybody. For the latest on plein air painting, exhibitions, and events, visit us at our gallery or online at harvestgoldgallery.com.